the hundred-headed dragon. Once there was a knight who during his travels saw a hundred-headed dragon behind some bushes. He was a brave knight who had already defeated dozens of dragons. But this one was larger than all the others and had at least one hundred heads. It was a frightening sight. When he saw him, the knight thought that it would be wiser if he left. He mounted quickly and ran as fast as he could. He shouldn't have, because each of the dragon's 100 heads wanted something else to go another way, so the dragon couldn't even get out of the bushes. Hence, he wasn't dangerous at all. A little while later, the knight saw another dragon in the bushes, and this one had only one head. Since he didn't look as frightening as the one before, the knight decided to face him and defeat him, so he started fighting the dragon. He shouldn't have, because this dragon, although he had just one head, he had at least 100 arms and easily managed to defeat the foolish knight. Moral of the story, 100 hands working to accomplish one purpose are much better than 100 heads pulling each their own way.